The Greedy Triangle, written by Marilyn Burns, illustrated by Gordon Silveria, read to you by Math Stervakis. Once there was a triangle that was, as most triangles are, always busy. The triangle spent its time holding up roofs, supporting bridges, making music in a symphony orchestra, catching the wind for sailboats, being slices of pie and halves of sandwiches, and much, much more. Kids, do you see the sandwich, the pie, the sailboat, and the houses? Look at the roofs. All triangles. The triangle's favorite thing, however, was to slip into place when people put their hands on their hips. That way, I always hear the latest news, it said which I can tell my friends. Kids, put your hand on your hip. Do you see the triangle you formed? The triangle's friends liked hearing the news. One day the triangle began to feel dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the triangle went to see the local shape shifter. Kids, a shape shifter can shift shapes or change shapes. How may I help you? The shape shifter asked the triangle. I think if I had just one more side and one more angle, said the triangle, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shape shifter. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the triangle into a quadrilateral. Kids, look at the quadrilateral. How many sides and how many angles does a quadrilateral have? Right, four. Quad means four. What other quadrilaterals are there in the real world, kids? A rectangle, a square a parallelogram, rhombuses. Let's continue. Life changed in a wonderful way. The quadrilateral was happy with all the new things it could do. The quadrilateral could be a baseball diamond, or first, second, or third base. It could take a position on a checkerboard or a chessboard. It could be a television screen, a computer screen, or a movie screen. It could frame windows or frame pictures and much, much more. Wow, kids! Look at all the things the triangle can do being a quadrilateral. Having four sides and four angles. He looks pretty happy. The quadrilateral's favorite thing, however, was to be the pages of a book. I learned so many interesting stories that way, it said, which I can tell my friends. The quadrilateral's friends liked hearing the stories. But one day, the quadrilateral began to feel dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the quadrilateral went back to the shapeshifter. How may I help you now? the shapeshifter asked the quadrilateral. I think if I had just one more side and one more angle, said the quadrilateral, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the quadrilateral into a pentagon. Kids, look at the pentagon. How many sides and how many angles does a pentagon have? Right, five. Kids, where in real life do you see pentagons? Shapes with five sides and five angles. Let's find out. Life changed in a wonderful way. The pentagon was happy with all the new things it could do. On a baseball diamond, the pentagon could be home plate. It could be a section on a soccer ball, 
or appear inside whenever someone drew a five-pointed star. The Pentagon's favorite thing, however, was to be the headquarters of the United States military near Washington, D.C. I hear all the top secrets that way, it said. It's too bad I can't tell them to my friends. The Pentagon's friends couldn't help feeling left out. Do you see them at the bottom of the page? They seem a little left out. After a while, time seemed to pass slowly for the Pentagon, and it became dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the Pentagon went back to the shapeshifter. So you're here again, the shapeshifter said to the Pentagon. Now what would you like? I think if I had just one more side and one more angle, said the Pentagon, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Kids, if the shapeshifter gives the Pentagon one more side and one more angle, what shape is the Pentagon going to become? What shape is the Pentagon going to turn into? Let's find out. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the Pentagon into a hexagon. Kids, look at the hexagon. How many sides and how many angles does a hexagon have? Correct! Six! Where in real life do you see six-sided shapes? Where do you see six-sided shapes? Six sides and six angles. Let's find out. Life changed again in a wonderful way. The hexagon was happy with all the new things it could do. The hexagon fit in as floor tiles and houses and patios and fancy crackers at parties and picnics. It worked as the socket of certain bolts and the prongs of certain wrenches. The hexagon's favorite thing, however, was to be a cell in a beehive. I love watching the bees as they buzz in and out, it said. The hexagon spent so much time in the beehive, it was too busy to talk to its friends. The friends missed the hexagon and couldn't help feeling ignored. Kids, do you see the hexagon's friends sitting on the bench? They look sad. They miss their friend. Again and again, the shape became restless, dissatisfied, and unhappy with its life. Again and again, it returned to the shapeshifter for more sides and more angles. The shapeshifter agreed to turn it into one shape after another. A heptagon, an octagon, a nonagon, a decagon, and on and on. Kids, how many sides and angles do you think a heptagon has? Seven? What about an octagon? A nonagon? A decagon? Let's continue. Finally, the shape had many, many sides and many, many angles. Its sides were so small that it had trouble keeping its balance. Kids, look! It has to lean against the tree to keep its balance. Its friends couldn't tell which side it was on and began to avoid the shape. Its friends are staying away. Kids, what do you think is happening to the shape? As it gets more sides and more angles, what do you think the shape will eventually turn into? What do you think a shape will turn into if it has many sides and many angles. Let's find out. One day, when the shape was going down a hill, it began to roll. Faster and faster it went, screeching around corners, crashing into fences and trees, colliding with bicycles and terrifying walkers. Kids, what is the shape becoming? At last, the shape came to a stop. 
it felt tired and dizzy, lonely and sad. Enough, thought the shape. I don't know which side is up. I can't keep my balance. My friends don't want me around. The shape could no longer remember why it had been so unhappy as a triangle. Very carefully, it made its way back to the shapeshifter. Aren't you happy yet? the shapeshifter asked. I want to be a triangle again, said the shape. I'm not surprised, said the shapeshifter. Kids, why do you think the shapeshifter is not surprised that the shape wants to be a triangle again? And why do you think the shape wants to be a triangle again? Do you think its life will be better? Let's find out. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the shape back into a triangle. Kids, look at the triangle. Do you think he's happy now? The triangle was delighted to have its old shape back again and kept itself very busy. Once again, it held up roofs, supported bridges, made music in a symphony orchestra, caught the wind for sailboats, became slices of pie and halves of sandwiches, and much, much more. Kids, the triangle does look happy again. Still, the triangle's favorite thing was to slip into place when people put their hands on their hips. That way, I always hear the latest news, it said, which I can tell my friends. Kids, put your hand on your hip. Do you see your triangle? Its friends liked hearing the news and were glad the triangle was back in shape again. Kids, this story was called The Greedy Triangle. Do you think the title the Greedy Triangle is a good title for this book? Why? And kids, do you think the triangle learned a lesson in the story? What do you think the moral of this story is? What lesson did the triangle learn? Kids, if you could be any shape, which would you be and why? Where would you be found in real life? Kids, you could also take a trip around the school and neighborhood and identify shapes in the real world. You can also draw pictures using different shapes. Be aware, math is everywhere. If you'd like to buy a copy of The Greedy Triangle, the publisher is Scholastic.